you have heard the term technic. Very good. How many of you think you have TechNEC? More hands. All right. So TechNEC, in very brief words, is what happens when you're constantly looking at your devices for many hours a day, many days a week, many years, and it actually changes, start changing the curvature of your, of your cervical spine. So that leads to at least tight neck and uh, to neck and shoulder pain. And how many people have even experienced some tingling and numbness going down to their hands? Where that starts from, in 90% of the cases, is from your neck. So um, there's, oh, there is a, right here. Here we go. That's not the There we go. So it's very common for you to be seeing people, and you're, you included all over the world, that are looking down at their, their phones like this. This is a little bit of an exaggeration, but it is what happens when we are looking down at our devices. So one thing that's even scary is what is happening with our kids. How many of you have kids out there? And they're starting looking at their devices at a very young age. So the average adult checks his or her phone 50 to 300 times a day. Those of you in the tech industry, it's probably going to be more than that. Studies have shown that the Roughly one third of the day is spent on your devices. That's a lot of time on your devices, and it is going to be changing. So, in a very brief time, I want to show you one thing that you can do because most of the time when you're checking your devices, you're not actually texting, but you're reading that information that's coming to you. So, I'd like to ask for a volunteer. Would you like to come up for a moment and you have your phone with you? Bring it right up. What's your name? Mark. Hi, Mark. Thank you for being here. So I'd like you to just take your phone out and what you usually do when you're looking at it. So everyone, you're sitting in the perfect place. You can see that Mark's head is probably three inches forward from what would be considered normal posture. So one thing that you can do when you are reading and scrolling through information is to simply put one arm under the other, like you try this, and just hold your phone in front of your face. You see the difference in Mark's neck? So that's one simple tool that you can do to start to change the curvature in your neck. So typically at the end of the day is when you're feeling it most, right? So. <laughs> you want to take, take, uh, or, and there's going to be more information. I'm going to be speaking for a few minutes later on today. I'm going to give you some more information about the neck posture. This is what's happening. <laughs> we're leading to, uh, to our evolution, and it's going in the opposite direction. And lastly, for this one here, is I want to have you start to become more aware of what you're doing with your devices. This also includes laptops. Laptops you can get for good ergonomics with the keyboard, but you are looking down. And I want you to uh, just for increasing your awareness about the weight of your head and how you're feeling at the end of the day and start to change around just holding up your phone like this. Everyone try that right now. Great, you see the difference on that? So it's really changing your whole neck posture. I have a table out there. If you want to have more information about TechNet, come out and see me, offering free adjustments and assessments out there. So start lining up at the next break and uh, start getting more awareness and consciousness around that. I'll see you a couple times a little later. Thanks, Mark. Ready for some more information about how to get combat TechNet? Yes, all right. Um, our head weighs approximately 10 to 14 pounds, which is about the size of a bowling ball. So if you uh, look at this slide up here, for every inch that our head is forward, the weight of the head increases. As you can see, for about an inch, which is about 15 degrees, it goes from 12 to 27 pounds. And following that up, it goes to 40, 49, 60 pounds. And if there's one more, slide here. If it goes too far, it's going to fall right off. So um, I want to give somebody a, um, an example of what that weighs. Let's see. Would you be willing to be a volunteer? Take the car. Right. All right, this is not a bowling ball, but this is it's a six pound weight, so it's going to be a little heavy. Okay. All right, so my head weighs actually double this amount. All right. 
Okay, so hold the hold the ball just like this. Take this minute, whatever it is. So straight up. Does it feel a little lighter when it's straight? Yeah. So just move it about an inch forward. Do you feel the weight increasing? Yeah. Go so another couple inches forward. Feel like energy gets? Yeah. So if it's straight up, you can hold this for a long time. But when it's forward like this, that's where the back, the curv curvature of the neck starts to straighten. And the muscles get tight because all those muscles in the upper back and shoulders and on the back of the skull, they need to increase. That's why at the end of the day, if your head's been forward, that those muscles are upset. So that's where tension comes in, headache, tight shoulders. It can lead if the neck is forward for too much, you will get pain tingling numbing numbness down to uh, the hands, and it also starts to uh, interfere with your concentration, with your mood, and a lot of things, because it changes your nervous system. The neck is meant to have the curve in, and for every inch that your head is forward, that curve starts going away. So the, I want you to have a visual, so you can think about that, your head, because we don't think about that very much, that our head weighs that much, and the more that you have awareness about this, the more you'll be able to start changing that and it breaks, start to do some things and get your neck back. Come by my booth, I'm gonna be doing uh, a tech neck, tech neck assessment on you. If you want an adjustment, you can get an adjustment at the booth. And uh, I'll be back again in an hour or so with uh, some other tips that you can do to start turning around tech neck. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Come by my booth, have a good day, okay? for uh, being really great participants with looking at how you can have your head be right above your shoulder and start to decrease the effects of tech neck. You guys are leaders in your visual media jobs that you do. And if you're in pain, and if your nervous system is not functioning properly, you're not gonna be able to do the job that you wanna do. So I'm personally ex excited and passionate about having people Get, get through this so that they know what to do at home, at home and at work. So uh, one of the things I first talked about from the very first time I was up here was to, um, uh, was to when you're uh, scrolling through your phone, is to have your, your hand underneath this and look up here, right there you can see the difference in my neck from this to this, so it's something very simple. For you to make the changes in your neck means you have to do something radical, like do something different. Um, on my, uh, my booth out there, I have a card that's for everybody here, and it has six tips that you can do. I'm gonna go over them briefly, but before you go, stop by my booth, grab one of these cards, so you have something that you can remind yourself to do. Uh, one of them is neck extension stretches. So since your head has been forward for, we showed in the earlier slides for three and a half, four and a half hours a day, 300 times at least that you and the tech industry are looking, is to, since your head's forward, is just literally take a break about once an hour and just have your neck go back. That's one of the simplest things that, that you can do. Shoulder rolls, have your shoulder rolls front, have your shoulders roll back. And that loosens up the upper back muscles and the lower neck muscles. So your head is looser on top. Remember your head weighs about as much as a bowling ball, 10 to 14 pounds, it's a lot of weight up there. So keep, keep that, that area loose. One of the things I love doing before I go to sleep at night is getting on a foam roller. How many people have foam rollers out there? Now, how many people use them on a regular basis? Not quite as many. So uh, I'm gonna try to demonstrate this standing up, but uh, you can get on this, of course, rolling on it horizontally, but rolling on it vertically at the end of the day. So having the bottom be on your sacrum and then having the upper part right below the back of your neck and you're lying on the ground six inches off and have your, your head roll over the back of that. So you can see I'm starting to get that curve back in my neck. This is a great device to help release the tension that you've been building up during the day. If you have more questions about this, come by my booth at the end. Um, next on here is, if you, this is gonna be radical, but I know some companies are actually supporting their employees in doing it. Imagine once an hour taking a five minute break there's a lot of software out there that'll actually remind you time to time to stretch, time to get up, and uh, go to the drink some healthy beverages. So you have to get up and go to the bathroom and use that as an opportunity. Use some of the shoulders rolls and get your nets back. Um, if you don't have a foam roller or don't want one, have your head hang over the back of your mattress at home. Just having a little bit of traction going back will start to put that curve back in. And this is something that I remind myself about because. 
I'm, uh, I'm not on the computer technology that much, but I'm bending over patients on my table every day. And I have this mantra of lead with my heart. So if you can imagine, you know, just, we lead with our head. We're, we're deep thinkers, deep thinkers. So we're typically, you know, our head is first. But if you imagine leading with your heart, that immediately just puts the head back, the shoulders front, brings the shoulders back. So that's, that's a mantra that's on the card here, lead with your heart. And then lastly, I would love to have each and one of you in my office, which is not possible. And um, I live, I'm practicing center fell, but chiropractic work is what gets your nervous system firing properly. It's kind of like a computer technician for your nervous system. If your computer is not working right, if something's firing incorrectly, you can't do your work. Same thing with your body. So I just encourage you, and Kabai will help support anybody finding a chiropractor in your local area if you want, want to know that. So I want to support you in having a very healthy body and continuing your work as much as you can. Thank you for the opportunity to help you do that.